World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Why does mouth produce so much saliva sometimes? If you have little saliva and a dry mouth, it is not the normal condition, but in other circumstances, a completely opposite condition can arise and you wonder, why does my mouth produce so much saliva? Welcome to another informative video from World of Dentistry. Today we will talk about excess salivation. Saliva is produced in the salivary glands. Every day, a person produces between 0.75 liters and 1.5 liters of saliva. Production peaks at the time of consuming food and reaches its lowest level during sleep. Saliva moistens the food ingested, has antimicrobial action, helps in the intake of food, and makes it easier to swallow. In addition, it has enzymes that aid digestion. It is also useful for healing wounds, prevents dry mouth, and is a barrier to irritants and toxins. Hypersalivation is the excessive production of saliva associated with impaired muscle control. It is also called sialorrhea or tialism. Sialorrhea can be constant, intermittent, temporary, or chronic. It depends upon the cause that generates it. It may be a symptom of an underlying health situation that can be linked to a common and easily treated cause, but it can be a more complex health condition. If the hypersalivation is the consequence of an infection, the excessive production of saliva is a reaction to eliminate bacteria, and it will disappear when this health condition is overcome. Different causes can lead to hypersalivation, which may be related to a temporary event or to another condition that requires treatment for a certain period of time. Some are poor oral hygiene, swollen adenoids, consumption of some medications, anticonvulsants and tranquilizers, false teeth and slash or removable prostheses, difficulty keeping the mouth closed, associated with impaired neuromuscular control, pregnancy and nausea typical of pregnancy, autism, stroke, Parkinson's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, Down syndrome, exposure to toxins, such as mercury, fracture or dislocation of the jaw, inability to swallow or eliminate saliva, infections in the throat, in the paranasal sinuses, tonsillitis, being infected with rabies or tuberculosis, cerebral palsy, facial nerve palsy, Bites from poisonous spiders, reptile venom, and poisonous mushrooms. Chronic acid reflux, GERD. Ulcers or inflammation in the mouth. Other factors that can affect excessive salivation are constantly open mouth, enlarged tongue or inadequate mobility of the tongue, poor control of the head and lips, malocclusion, dental misalignment, nasal obstruction, altered tactile sensation. Hypersalivation may be the consequence of a chronic disease that affects and impairs muscle control. If it is not treated adequately and in a timely manner, it may cause difficulty in speaking clearly and in ingesting food and drinks. Plus, the sense of taste is reduced, among other effects. A person with salivaria is more likely to inhale saliva, food, or fluid into the lungs, which can lead to aspiration pneumonia. Diagnosis is very important, as some of the possible causes may require careful handling. In cases of chronic hypersalivation, symptom management is a key factor. Some of the symptoms that are recorded due to excessive saliva production are damage to the skin near the mouth, dehydration, skin infections near the mouth, chapped, split lips, bad breath. Treatment focuses on the underlying health condition causing hypersalivation and on controlling or reducing its immediate effects. Treatment may include therapies, medications, or home remedies, depending upon the cause of excessive salivation. You can also incorporate behavior changes, speech therapy, posture and head control, lip locking techniques, and improved tongue control. Medication to reduce saliva production and anticholinergic medications may be prescribed, but they will have various side effects, 
drowsiness, irritability, restlessness, constipation, urinary retention, hot flashes, and blurred vision. Cases of chronic hypersalivation require specific treatment, depending upon the health condition that generates excessive saliva production. In temporary cases, it is possible to resort to home remedies. Drinking a lot of water can reduce saliva production. Limit consumption of acidic and sugary foods. If the cause is a cavity or oral infection, the treating physician will refer the case to a dentist. Regular brushing helps reduce inflammation of the gums, which may be the trigger for excessive salivation. Using an alcohol-based mouthwash helps stabilize the moisture level in your mouth. Botox injections are another alternative. This substance causes muscle paralysis and causes the salivary glands to stop producing saliva. The effect will disappear a few months later. If it is an extreme case, the treating physician may recommend surgery to remove the salivary glands or relocate them to facilitate the passage of saliva through the back of the mouth. An alternative to surgery is radiation therapy, which relieves hypersalivation and causes dry mouth. We hope you learned a lot today. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you have learned something new about excessive salivation. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.